We had a very interesting event happen here in the household this morning, and I wanted to share it with all of you today because it really is an amazing event. Um, a few days ago, my wife was out in the yard, and she, pot, she spotted a caterpillar, a monarch caterpillar, and this is there. These are two pictures of a monarch caterpillar. This first one on the right-hand side shows one set, two sets of antenna. On the other side, it shows one, two, three sets of antenna. This is a tip-off that this is a queen caterpillar, all right? And because it has three sets of tentacles. And uh, the page that I'm on here is called texasbutterflyranch.com. And go to texasbutterflyranch.com and you can read all about what I'm showing you here. But I wanted to show you some visuals. So then, this guy here, unbeknownst to us, uh, went, it, went into chrysalis. And so my wife found the chrysalis outside and it looks like this, only it's smaller. It's only about this big. It's not that big, it's this big. Uh, it looks green like it looked green like this, um, but it was smaller than the picture that it's showing you here. It's, it's. My wife said, "You got to come and see this. It looks like the smallest chrysalis I've ever seen in my lifetime." And we've been doing butterflies for a few years here, monarch butterflies, and this one is really, really, really special. So, anyway, we took the chrysalis inside, put it into a cage that we have. And uh, if, if you look here on this one, you see, they always have this little uh, extension that they make, and they hang their chrysalis from, from there. They, they hang down with this. This is like their butt end, and then they weave the chrysalis. It's an amazing thing to watch. If you ever get a chance to do it, by all means, do it. Now, anyway, you can take one of these chrysalises. This is very strong. You can wrap some dental floss around it and bring it into the house. So we took this little chrysalis, this tiny thing. It's the smallest one we've ever seen. And we said, I don't know what the heck's going to come out of it, but let's put it in one of our cages. We have this nice cloth cage. This is about three feet tall. And we'll put it in there, take some dental floss, wrap it around there, and get a plant in there with a branch in there with no leaves on it and hang it from that branch. Word of caution, if you have any extra string hanging down, make sure you clip it off with the scissors because you don't want it interfering with the um, newborn butterfly that's trying to stretch its wings and flap its wings. It'll, get all, it'll all get tangled up. You don't want to do that. So make sure that you uh, clip off any loose ends you got. Anyway, so we get it in there. And this morning, this is a day later after we brought it in, this morning, my wife gets up. She goes, you got to come out here and see this. I said, what are you talking about? I said, you won't believe what's out here. <laughs> so we go out here. It's not a regular monarch butterfly. It looks like this guy over here. And if you notice, this guy has a uh, little reproductive organ showing here. And uh, what we fondly call a family jewels. And... <laughs> Um, he has them, so this is a male uh, queen butterfly. If it didn't have the family jewels, it would obviously be a female monarch butterfly. This is a regular monarch butterfly, and look closely, you can see the family jewels here, so this is undoubtedly a male uh, right here, too. So. Uh, but those are the family jewels, and that's the giveaway of what this little guy is. So, this morning we took uh, him outside. He's, he was flapping his wings. He's ready to go. He's ready to roll. So, uh, what I did was I took him out. Well, Patty and I took him. My wife and I took him outside. And uh, here's the video this morning. And after I shut the camera off, it wasn't like a minute later, all of a sudden, off he flew. And he went up in one of the big oak tree, and he's hanging out there for a while, and then he'll fly off. Got about one to three months lifespan. That's it, one to three months. That's pretty short. But anyway, big excitement today in our household, and uh, just amazing to see 
this uh, monarch, queen monarch caterpillar that turned into a butterfly and flew off this morning. Absolutely exciting day for us. Let me get more, uh, more uh, light on them here. Yeah. Yeah. Send that in. Yeah. Newspaper. So here is the monarch queen. Good morning. Butterfly. Good morning, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely beautiful this morning. Look you at how little he is good. on my hand. Yeah. You look He's good. not very big. We have monarchs twice that size. This is a male monarch queen. And he's sitting on my hand exercising his wings, and after about um, a minute or two, off he flew. My wife Pat's going to talk about this little chrysalis that this guy came out of. Okay, as you can see, I tied uh, with a double knot uh, the dental floss around the, the black um, pot that comes out, tiny black attachment pot that comes out of the top, and I cut the um, strings so that they wouldn't interfere with it getting out. And as you can see, this chrysalis that he came out, that he came out of is only about half an inch. It's the smallest one I've ever seen. Really, really tiny. And that's uh, how they come out.